Okay, everybody, hope you're all doing well. We're reading some tender cringe for all of you. So we have this lovely message opened up from the first guy, Steve, here, who says, hey. And then they respond saying, yeah, I'm moving to a bigger apartment that's one step from a penthouse. Steve says, oh, nice. And you got interesting timing. So then they say, how so? Steve says, I was literally rubbing one out, haha. Then they say, okay. Steve says, yeah, just odd timing, lol. Okay then, yeah. And this is particularly weird. I don't know how they thought this was a normal conversation. Sometimes when people talk like this, I wonder if they ever ask themselves, how would this interaction look like in real life? Roses or daisies? Daisies. I'm just wondering what to put on that casket after I murder that pussy. Damn, girl, are you retarded? Because you look very special to me. Wow. LOL. I don't even know what to say. I mean, that's borderline. Not cool, but also ballsy. Call me an Asian porn star because I'm all balls. Um, to be honest, I don't even know anymore. I'll let you start over. I just shit my pants. Can I get in yours? So how would you feel about something casual? What's your definition of casual? I'm not interested in friends and benefits. Okay, perfect. That made this very easy. LOL. Hey, heads up. You're on fucking Tinder, you retard. Friends and benefits is all your fat ass is going to get. Plus, you got kids. What the fuck? Get out of here with that bullshit. Wow. I see you don't handle rejection well. Best of luck to you. Roses are red. Violets are blue. We're a match on Tinder, so I think we should screw. No. No means yes, and ne yes means anal. Reported! Thank you for your feedback. We'll take it from here. Why the fuck did I download this bullshit app again? I live in fucking Charleston. If you don't look like a fucking pop star, you're fucked. Fuck me, here's my legs because I'm fugly. I'm just here to swipe because at least my monkey brain will think I'm getting somewhere. Fuck you. Fuck beauty standards. Fuck me. Also, my personality's trash. Well, at least you got one part of that right. Long legs and high expectations. If your truck is smaller than mine, swipe left. M Morty, you got a burb. Swipe right. Oh, jeez, Rick. Why? Cause Morty, she's fucking hot. Look at her, Morty. She's burr. Studies chemistry and she is a gamer. You like games, right? Hey, I guess she is pretty cute. And wow, is gamer? That's cool. I'm going to talk to her, Grandpa Rick. Cool. If it doesn't work out, tell me. Maybe bird person will take sloppy seconds. Jesus Christ. Every girl I have sex with comes an average of a three times. I have been told by every girl that has seen my penis I am very big. If you are interested in having an amazing night that leaves you more than satisfied, hit me up. I also average two to three hours in bed, and I prefer to be very aggressive with partners. I'm very picky, so if you don't match, don't be personally offended. I only date tens. You should not be overweight and I judge based purely on looks. I'm always so grateful when these types of douchebags wear the red flags right there. And this one is crimson red. Grandpa's down to fuck. Love my homeless bitches. Come over, I got a place. Take shower, then get nasty. Love eating ass. Bring some party favors. Let's stick something in our asses. Vegan feminist. I only date guys with muscles and an income. Anti-vaccination. I am a vegan. If you're not an atheist, you need to check yourself. You know my name, not my story. I'm unvaccinated and uneducated. Difficulty level 9. Very shallow, very high strong, very judgmental. Not easy going. Can smell insecurities. Doesn't like short people. Hates America. You sound very fun and very reasonable. Hi. Good morning. How the heck are you doing? Nothing much. That's cool. What are you up to for this Friday? Nothing. And you? Heading into Van in a bit for a concert at the Malcolm Bowl. Cool. Yep. Looking forward to it. Have fun. Have you heard of Chromio? No. Gotcha. 
This is what happens when you match out, uh, max out all your stats into trying to look good and have zero stats into socialization or people skills. Hey, send me some pics or something. Do something. Well, hey, you're going to have to step up your game if you want this. Do some work. Make me feel special. No thanks. I'm good. That sounds about right. You know, you're really not that pretty if more men had a little bit more pride. You would have to do some work. At least for a guy like me. LOL. You do know that I'm out of your league, right? I mean, I'd is unmatch you, but that's your job. I'm too pretty to press unmatch. Too lazy. Too stupid. And when you put LOL, you know what that says? It's what LOL sounds like. <laughs> been touched a long time grow the fuck up bro the truth is you could slip my throat and with one last gaping breath I'd apologize for bleeding on your shirt oh man these are the ones that usually hurt me the most it's cause you're not particularly being pretentious or an asshole to anybody else so it's not like I can call you a total fucking prick or anything like that right but still you're in no condition to be on sites like this, man. You're clearly not doing well. You look to be, it says 35, so chances are you have decades of trauma that has been clearly left unresolved. Usually as a result from parents, loved ones, not giving you the attention and, and affection that you need. And unfortunately, you go on websites like this and you look for that for a partner and it can result in something called codependency where you become so reliant on another person to give you that self-esteem and validation that it results in compassion exhaustion and then you burn them out and you almost act like a little parasite and you start draining all the life out of them. And the problem is you're not actually addressing the real issues. You're just trying to medicate yourself on somebody else you're trying to get drunk on their love so temporarily you can ignore your problems but they always have a way of resurfacing and showing themselves just because you're numbing yourself right now does not mean that it's gone away you've just repressed it you've made the fuse a little bit longer on that ticking time bomb that is you bro wherever you are i hope this was an ironic post and just a really bad cringy joke I hope you're getting help. It, it really bothers me to see profiles like this, dude. It really bothers me to see profiles like this. Or worse yet, hopefully you haven't done this, but some people do post this type of shit to almost gain sympathy. Like, look at me. I'm a pathetic little dog. Please adopt me. Oh, don't you feel sorry for me? You know, you can raise me. You can make me better. Come fix me. I doubt that's what you're doing, but I have seen some people do that. Either way, it's not a good look for you, bro. And if you ever help to have children or anything else and take care of them, you have to be able to take care of yourself. The problem with situations like this is they let it get so bad to the point where then everything else fails and they go to see therapy. But the problem is you shouldn't let things get that bad. Just prevention is a lot easier than once it gets to the problem and you have to treat it. Just like I brush my teeth every day or I wipe my ass every day or I eat a healthy diet every day. I don't want to let the problems arise and then deal with them afterwards. Maintenance every day. Go see a therapist once a week, bro. Even when things are quote unquote better, continue seeing that therapist. But again, that strikes a whole nother conversation where medication and therapy are not available, especially lower income individuals. They're kind of fucked. Hope you're getting help, man. My God, this, this type of shit is hard to look at for me.